Hey YouTube, this is now TCA Gaming. We have, uh, as you know, we changed the name of our store and everything else that goes along with it, the eBay site. We're trying to get Facebook taken care of, that seems to be an issue. But uh, we've, we've come a long way in the store. We've changed up a lot of things and I wanted to do a video showing that stuff off. Um, I also uh, wanted you guys to be informed of a lot of really nice Pokemon PSA cards that are going into auction. I'll send you a link in the description below but I mean there's a ton of stuff I mean, lots of really good high-end items alright so I'm gonna show you around the store I bought this shelving from an office max that was going out of business we literally just got it up on Saturday or got the product transferred over to it so if you see the top shelf is empty and there's a few empty spots on there we're waiting for some more plush we gotta make some more boxes and we just haven't had time to fill it up completely However, there is still you know, a good bit of stuff for our store. This is where we keep our new releases. We finally became an official Pokemon League. It, it had to do with the, the, the name, so that's why we got that changed. Then we got our, our regular schedule. But got all kinds of cool product up here. Got 20th anniversary stuff up there. Other box releases. Some are, I mean, most of these are a little bit older. <clears throat> You've got some of the stuff that's been reprinted or released more recently, like the Tapu Coco that just come out. And then uh, I think we do have some tins down there. We've got different products here, some older uh, with, uh, World Championship decks. We've got some of these square spinners. and we, We've only got the basic spinners at the moment. We've got three-pack blisters. Here's some old Supreme Victors blisters and Pikachu World Collection. I'm going to add more older product out here. I'm going to get a little bit more time. I think that's Aurora's, Aurora's Lucario. These are, this is all official Pokemon action figures and plushes, but we've only got a small order in it at the moment. The rest of the stuff should be coming in. Everything on this deck, or on this display, it's like older theme decks, trainer kits and stuff. I think these are all $10 a piece. Then we've got some official play mats. I can't remember what we sell these for. We probably, we sell these somewhere between five and ten, I believe. Uh, the case itself is pretty much the same. We've changed everything over to binders. We just keep giant binders of cards. <clears throat> it was getting really hard to manage. Like the like all, like that binder right there is Force of Will, and then you've got Yu-Gi-Oh regular monsters, effect monsters. Well, there's two binders of those. You got rituals and different things. And you got more force of will. It's Pokemon binders right there. It's like an, an older binder stuck back in here. Sorry for the glare. And then that one's full of like EXs and stuff that we just get in purchases. We don't have time to list them on, so we just throw it in a binder and it, it gets thick real quick. And you've got other product down below. It's all magic and extra bundles and there's some plus one stuff make a camera up to make a sharpie to if I come at an angle a little better I'm surprised at how much people really like these tins in store I mean we only sell them for 15 so we beat out Walmart pretty good but still I wouldn't have imagined they sell as well as they do then we've got all your basic booster packs we do three for ten or if you come between five and six during happy hour they're four for ten you have a limit that you can purchase on that there. We've got pins and dice. We've got theme decks over here, structure decks, which we don't keep all of them right here, but we've got them in a, a good variety of what we have right there. Then we've got a, I bought this <coughs> Duracell display, I guess that's what you could call it, from Office Max which we haven't cleaned it up completely yet. That's where we keep the Pokemon Center New York pins. Like these are official from 2001 or 2002 I believe. They're all sealed up. Then you've got all your sleeves. Got some more stuff over there. And then you've got your dragon shields and deck boxes. Then you've got your Ultra Pro binders and some Pokemon binders. Up there, still got my brother's artwork. 
Over here we've got some t-shirts that I picked up from like, I think it was maybe Belt. They were real cheap there, so they weren't going on sale, so I just went ahead and grabbed some. Then we've got some older plushes, and older figures, or like toys. Which we don't have a ton of those left anymore. Got some comics. We're getting out of that business, though. The comic thing doesn't seem to work here. Well, we've got them, but those are all those wood pieces that my brother made. So there's those over there. Then we got lots of bulk that goes along the bottom of our store. Most of the, what you see on, on the bottom is magic, maybe some Yu-Gi-Oh. We've got boxes here. These are our 10 cent boxes for Pokemon. I throw stuff in here that's you know damaged or whatever. And if you're looking for something, I mean, you never know what you might find in here. That's a burst edition Magneton from Fossil. I mean, if that was near mint, I mean, it'd probably sell them for you know, three, four dollars on eBay or something like that. But I imagine it's got some kind of damage. You can find all kinds of different things in there. We still have shirts. We're getting rid of the old shirts. Ordered some new ones. Got us a candy rack. Over there we've got us a Coke machine. We've got us a TV where we used to show Twitch. We're uh, working on that at the moment. I guess I could show you guys the new tables. We, uh, I just went ahead and bought some lifetime tables from Walmart as well as lifetime chairs. So we've got abundant seating for when we just get packed. And then I'd say the best part of the store is you know where we keep all of our booster boxes and newest release stuff. I'll get up a little closer. So up top is where I kind of keep personal collection stuff. I started a magic box collection and I just keep them right there. Got a few older Pokemon boxes, got the original six Yu-Gi-Oh! and the original Force of Will. I think that's probably the most expensive box up here, the revised. And then for Pokemon, I mean we just keep a, a really good stock of booster boxes out for display. Like that's Guardians Rising. These are four deep. This base set, you got Evolution, Steam Siege, Fates Collide, Breakpoint. Breakthrough, Ancient Origins, you've got Roaring Skies, Primal Clash, and XY base set. And then you've got actual magic boxes that are for sale all the way through to the newest one for Amaket, and it's the same thing for Yu-Gi-Oh. We just try to keep in whatever we can. Up here we've got some other stuff that we just got in recently, like the Mega Powers, Tapu Koko, Legacy Evolution, these are pre-release kits that uh, were made available to distri or from distributors recently for Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising, and Steam Siege. And then of course these tins sell amazing, so we keep a good stock of the Tapu Bo Bulu and Coco tins. Got Elite Trainers and Bundles for Magic, as well as a good variety of Force of Will booster boxes. So this is our store, almost one year after we have opened. We've come a pretty long way, I think, and I hope that we continue to grow. I, I appreciate the support that you guys have given us online, and I hope that everyone in the store keeps coming back, and we keep getting bigger, and we grow, and we can continue to support all the games that people want to play in this area. Thanks, guys.